Hi you guys, uh, welcome to my video. Um, now today I've been experimenting with uh, pigments. Green, um, raspberry, jade green and um, black. And a bit of yellow as well. And my other tools, which are water, glue and some lovely glitter and, a, uh, and some lovely gold leaf. Um, so basically, I wanted to experiment, you know, what would these pigments be like on fabric? Um, um, and it, um, because it's holes, and I, th I think this is used a lot of cross stitch because it's got, if you want to count your holes, as they call it, it's when basically you count with your sewing. So the idea of this, basically, now at first it looks like a fire, but it uh, is actually a tree. And basically, it's basically to show that, um, show that there is a light, there is always a light in the darkness. That, you know, if, you know, hence why I use the black to get a very atmospheric shadow effect, which I really love, actually. Um, and basically the flower in the middle, which is a button, uh, represents growth. So basically, you know, it's through our trial and tribulations in the darkness that we actually grow um, in ourselves. And, um, you know, I, we've all experienced trials through life. And, and yeah, you know, we, sometimes it's hard to see that light. And, you know, but um, there's always light there, you know. And, you know, and, and I mean, me on a personal note, I mean, it's faith, you know, it's. It's like, you know, the tree of life is, you know, lighting the way, you know, there's a, hence the cottage, you know, taking you somewhere safe and comfortable. And that is the light, you know, that's what my faith does bring to me. It brings the light, it brings that comfort, you know, that safety net, you know, when we are going through difficult times. And so, yeah, so this is a bit of art therapy, if you like. Um, well, and and like I said, an experimentation, you know, what uh, what mixed media in a sense does go with fabric. Um, as I said, I, I do love the shadow with the black pigment and but I do also like the gold flakes because like I said, it looks like the, it looks like the tree is on fire, but actually, you know, isn't it? It's, it's almost, you know, it's so but it's not fires in a negative way. You know, it's fire as in, you know, life. It's like cleansing, you know, a fire cleanses. It take you know gets rid of the bad and brings out the good. So, so that's why I wanted to do do it a bit like like a tree, but also a bit like a fire, to represent that. And I also use these lovely stamps, my foam stamps that I recently bought using my jet black ink. It's a really lovely ink. Um, there's another one. I think unfortunately my Tim Holtz ink I think is starting to get a bit dry. But I have sprayed it with a bit of water, so I'm hoping I can get a bit more out of it, I'm hoping. So, because it is a lovely colour. Okay, so that's that design. Now I'm moving slowly over. Uh, this is my horsey design. Now this one, um, as you know me, I love horses. Uh, this one was using beads, because again, I wanted to see, as I said, um, I know beads... As I said, they they look better sewn with, but I but even sort of glued on with the glitter, I still think they look effective. So again, I was again I was experimenting, you know, what goes what goes better with what, you know, and the gold glitter, sorry, gold glitter, I think does go nice. The copper glitter, um, I think um I think I one thing I did learn, I I think unless you want an atmospheric touch. You know, I, you know, I do, you know, I think too much of the pigment, you can lean, I think, slightly on the messy side. You know, if, you know, for example, you know, like that is very atmospheric. I mean, that really suits it, you know, but I think for the horse, I think I should have used a bit less, I think, um, you know, so, but, it, um, so again, you know, I learned, so again, that's something I learned. And this was, you know, this is the idea of just sitting down at your desk. And just creating, you know, give it a shot. You know, it doesn't matter if it doesn't work because, you know, like I've learned um, through just these simple, basically just like throw it together and like see, you know, see what comes up that, you know, I learned, you know, I, I learned that fact, you know, 
so yeah guys i just want to encourage you to experiment you know never be afraid to experiment with the art i mean i mean i mean that because i mean that's why i love mixed media i mean i will always love mixed media i think it is definitely still one of my favorite mediums you, you um you know it you know is you know when you know you know when when you do put a bit of this and that you know put a um you know put the bead there you know put a charm there you know put the paper there put pigment there you know it's yeah it's it's i just think it's but as i said everyone's different you've got to go with your creativity you know it's some people for ex you know some people will just love painting you know and that's it and again that's absolutely fine so it's about being individual with individual with your art and and you know and and I always say, you know, and I always say you don't have to go to university to be, a, a, you know, to be a professional artist. I mean, yes, it would teach you methods that perhaps, you know, you won't know. But there's so many YouTube videos out there, guys. I mean, take your pick, really. You know, so, you know, so even if you did want to learn set, some techniques, you know, you don't have to. I mean, again, everyone's different. And that's fine. If you disagree, that's absolutely fine. You know, but, um, you know, but personally, you know, I think, you know, a lot of the famous artists, none of them went to university. It was literally just doing what they loved and just practiced and practiced it, basically, you know, until they did um learn that, you know, till they did learn the techniques and the trade, the trade, as it were, you know. So, yeah, so, yeah, so as I said, I hope you enjoyed my experimentation. I I mean, out of the two, this one is my favourite, I must admit, out of the two. You know, as I said, like I said, I think the pigment is great for shadow and for atmosphere. But I but I think if you want, but, you know, but but I think, you know, but I think if you just want a general, um, you know, yeah, bring it back and focus, you can see a bit better there. You know, as I said, you know, but, you know, but, you know, but for general, I think for general, like, say, if you do want to do animals, you know, I, I think you'd have to use it very, very little because otherwise, I, you know, it does detract. Or, but let me know what you think, guys. I mean, if you think it looks good either way, you know, I'd love to hear your comments on this, guys. I really would from, you know, from an artist, from a crafter to a crafter or just somebody who enjoys art. Again, you don't have to be an artist to enjoy art. So, um, so yeah, leave your comments below, guys. You know, I'd really love to hear from you what you think. Um, yeah, so I just want to say goodbye, guys. And again, thanks for your support. I thank you so much for the support you give. You really are stars. Okay, thank you, guys. God bless. Take care.